Osman Badian, I'm the director for Africa at the International Food Policy Research Institute in Washington, D.C. So, what RESAX does is to pull together a network of experts from the countries in the region, as well as from global centers of expertise, to answer the needs in terms of technical analysis, data, and tools that allows CADEP to have uh, a vibrant and well-informed review process, benchmarking, and mutual learning. So uh, for that, um, Resax uh, is monitoring about 30 core indicators of CADEP, and it produces every year the annual trends and outlook report, including the one this last year, 2012, that focused on uh, public expenditure in agriculture. And the findings of that uh, is quite interesting. If you look at the trends, the structure of public sector funding, uh, the uh, performance of uh, countries since the initial years of CADEP, and uh, what the levels are compared to the CADEP target. We can maybe just talk about the plans uh, around RESAX and the support uh, to the effort under the CADEP uh, agenda to facilitate evidence-based policy planning and implementation. Uh, after the uh, creation of the regional nodes of RESAX in Western Central Africa, based in Nigeria, in uh, Southern Africa, based in Pretoria, and in Eastern and Central Africa, based in Nairobi, RESAX is now working with the regional economic communities and uh, governments, farmers organizations, and centers of excellence uh, across Africa to help countries to set up their own uh, knowledge platform called the SACS platform, Strategic Analysis and Knowledge Support Systems. Uh, that is a key um, uh, deliverables of RESAX right now. Something else that IFPRI is doing in Africa, which is also very important because you're talking about future plans, is uh, helping create a critical mass of world-class uh, expert in economic modeling. Uh, we have created with uh, our partners uh, nearly three years ago uh, what we call the African Growth and Development Policy Modeling Consortium, AgroDEP, which now has nearly 160 highly qualified uh, model builders across Africa out of uh, nearly 30 countries. So we're working with uh, that group of talented economists across Africa to create a very strong community of practice with the best tools, state-of-the-art models, high-quality data, and all the necessary resources for training and for exchanging with the global community of experts. Policies may not be the solution to everything, but bad policies are a problem for everything. So good policies dealing with technology, uh, dealing with uh, markets, dealing with input procurement, uh, dealing with um, uh, infrastructure, uh, dealing with institutional uh, aspects of uh, managing the agricultural sector, uh, the legal environment, land, so it's a long list of policies that are needed. And in some countries, it might be a specific set that is more binding. In other countries, another set that are more binding. What is important currently now, uh, and that may cut across all African countries, is that uh, the recent growth of the last 10, 15 years has been good. But we shouldn't be complacent. We have to go and look back at what policies contributed to the growth right now and make sure that we continue those policies. We have to be very careful to go back to the failed policies of the 1970s and 1960s. My fear is that the new leadership in Africa, being emboldened by the recent uh, positive trends, in an environment of democratic openness and populistic urges, may be running straight back to the failed policies of the 60s and 70s. So we really better look back and know what the mistakes were so we don't repeat them. There's a lot that a state has to do and can do, 
But we have to ask ourselves the tough questions. Are these the best policies to get us where we need to be? Where else have they succeeded? Have we embraced them in the past? What did they lead to? Can we change the conditions for them to succeed this time if they failed in the past? If they were good then and not good now, that's fine. If they were bad then and can be good now, that's fine too. But if they're bad then and bad now, we better stay away from them.